Well, 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 this got really interesting regarding the edge position for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, this is a free agency where Howie Roseman needs to be flawless. This free agency needs to be better than last year. But with some draft compensation on your side and having a lot more cap space and can have more um, definitely give makes Howie Roseman more flexible. And it looks like the Eagles could trade could sign, and could cut a defensive end uh, by when this is all said and done. Josh Sweat could be on the move. And the Eagles are rumored to pouncing on a specific player early in free agency, which is an edge rusher from the New York Jets. So let's get into all the news. Yo, yo, what is going on, guys? I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. So I want to go over some news for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, um, we have to go over a specific player. Now, we're going to kind of go through three stages to this whole entire thing. Um, if this happens, then this is going to happen, and that's going to happen. There's so much to go over regarding the Ed's position, okay, defensive end, um, where we're kind of waiting for some things to happen, where certain things will designate other things to happen regarding Hassan Reddick's trade, Josh Sweat, but interesting enough, there were some rumors for the Philadelphia Eagles will go early in free agency to go get Bryce Huff from the New York Jets. Now, the Jets did not tag Bryce Huff at all. He is going to be hitting the market, and apparently the price for him is really not going to be bad. It's going to be like maybe $15 million, maybe between 15 to 18. Okay, statistics for Bryce Huff for the New York Jets going to be turning 26 years old, 10 sacks, double digit sacks last year, 17.5 and 54 games, 43 quarterback hits in 54 games. Um, and, you know, showing that he's becoming, you know, maybe a, a future elite player in the league and has done, did a number on us the last time we faced the Jets, did a good number on us um, and, you know, capable of being a, a pretty good player for the future. And um, the Eagles, apparently, and this, this, all this rumor about early free agency signing of Bryce Huff came from Lombardi uh, on radio that covers the Giants news, Jets news. So, um, so there was a thing that was posted. So I know most people hate him, but he mentioned Huff possibly to the Eagles early in free agency. That would say a stink for us. I think if we make a splash, this is the guy to get. We will find out soon enough. So, um, so this was said on radio. And something within uh, insider news of, of the Eagles that they're going to go early for an edge rusher. Okay. And Bryce Huff could fit the mold right there at a cheaper ish type price. That guy that had double digit sacks, um, you know, and potentially could have another year. Now, is this player better than Hassan Reddick? Probably not. I mean, because you're, you know, we're not really giving Bryce Huff a chance, but he is a lot, a lot younger. And what's to come of, for a move like this to happen, what needs to happen? Hassan Reddick, as long as this keeps going between these, um, between Hassan Reddick and the Philadelphia Eagles, the longer this thing keeps going, the cheaper that contract is going to get. OK, um, but this can mean two things. OK, either. They're going to the, the, the you know, the price is going to be a lot cheaper for us on Reddick because it, the longer we wait, the better it's going to be. Or it's because they are training us on Reddick at this point and they're trying to get the best draft compensation. And they haven't got the best draft compensation yet for a specific team that wants to trade for Hassan Reddick. But what's to come of if that if Hassan Reddick does resign, there is rumors that maybe Josh Sweat could be uh, on a trade block as of right now. Or maybe a cut candidate. I don't know. Um, because at this point, just think about it. If you release a defensive end and sign another one, I think this goes into Howie Roseman and getting a compensatory pick for 25. Okay. This could definitely go into that where you take a player that, you know, could Josh Wett fit in this Vic Fangio scheme? We know we trust Hassan Reddick a lot more because he's done it before uh, and hopefully he'll be done at the right moment, the right time. And they know actually how to use him and everybody else in this defense, but does, Josh Sweat actually fit this defense, this 3-4 scheme. 
And if they feel like, you know what, Josh Wett's on the last year of his deal, there are a couple of things that they could do. They could trade him. They could just flat out release him, eat up the dead money and sign Bryce Huff. Um, you know, I still think they need another guy or they're going to let Josh Wett, where I think Josh Wett for himself, um, he wants to play out the, the, the rest of his contract out with the Philadelphia Eagles, kind of prove it to himself and to other teams that he could play, um, and play at a high level. And, you know, because Josh Wett probably had one of the worst years last year. Okay. And that's really not his fault. I think a lot of this defensive line did hit a wall last year. So there's a couple options here. If, you know, you release a player, you sign another player in free agency, you get a you get a nice high compensatory pick in 2025 next year, um, or you keep him on the contract and add more to the fold. Where you know, since you're not going to be paying Josh Wett, you're going to let him play out until uh, to free agency um, next year. And if Hassan Reddick gets that 20 to $22 million deal we kind of been waiting for, Bryce Huff can come right in at another mid-tier price because at the end of the day, you get maybe Chase Young, you're going to be paying $13 million you know, for maybe a year. You know what I mean? But if you get Bryce Huff, you're probably paying a little bit more for him. But at the same time, you know what you're kind of getting out of him as well. And, you know, we know that the edge guys need to be good in a Vic Fangio system and getting that pressure. And we still got to get safeties. We still got to get linebackers. This is just the start of it. So if the Eagles don't have to go into the draft to get a lot to from UCLA or to get Chop Robinson, which would be nice, they can always go this route and make this contract expendable for the Eagles where the cap hits won't be that crazy on a three, four year deal with Bryce Huff. So if they get rid of Reddick, they could sign Bryce Huff to a much cheaper deal. Won't even hit $20 million. They'll probably between, be, be between 15 and 18. You keep Josh Wett and maybe you draft it's one of the top edge rushers in the first round. Or um, if Reddick does stay and Josh Wett, depending if they trade him, if they get rid of him, if they want the comp pick, if they feel like, you know what, let's try to get some worth in a trade. Let's try to get something done. Or they want to keep him on the roster and let him kind of finish out his whole contract. They can always sign another guy in Bryce Huff to kind of bolster uh, that defensive line a little bit more on the edge. I still think they need at least another body there. Brand Graham is coming back. So you need that other rotational type guy and Bryce Huff could be that guy for the Philadelphia Eagles. So there's a lot of, I, I'm sorry if this video does sound confusing. There are a lot of moving pieces and a lot of different combinations depending if Reddick gets traded or he stays. And I feel like if he does stay, potentially Bryce Huff could be added because he's going to be a lot cheaper than what you're going to pay Reddick. He's going to be a lot cheaper, um, you know, and yes, I think they could pay Reddick and I think they will pay another edge guy come this offseason because Josh Sweat, I think, will not get paid after this year. It, it probably makes the most sense, uh, you know, and the Eagles have a little bit of flexibility because of the extra money that they do have. So they might add a little bit more cash flow on the edge side of things, kind of make the contracts look good. So um, I could totally get it if Hassan Reddick is completely gone, gets trade away from for some draft capital. And yes, Bryce Huff would probably make the most sense with probably drafting an edge rusher with your top pick going into this draft and having to really move up. You have those those extra picks with those fifth rounders. You have two second round picks. So there's a lot of flexibility. I think they'll double dip. And if... Bryce Huff is an actual rumor and seems to be pretty true. I think they could pick him up on top of signing Hassan Reddick. I think they'll pay him a much cheaper contract, which it looks like this is the first year he's hitting to double digit sacks. So you're not, you know, you're not looking at a guy right here that's coming in with three, four years straight with double digit sacks. He's coming off a double digit sack season, just one. Okay, um, and we'll see what the market is for edge rushers. We haven't really seen, we really haven't seen any other edge rushers get signed so far. So whether Hassan is here or not, I think they do go this route, um, bringing Bryce Huff in the building. And that's with Josh Wett either staying or leaving, depending if they want that, you know, comp, you know compensatory pick, that comp pick, or they feel like, let's keep sweating the building. Let's go get Bryce Huff and pay him on a cheaper deal that he would have paid other defensive ends in the league. Um, you know, So they might get Bryce Huff a little cheaper because this first double-digit sack season and, you know, you know, you're not getting too much. You're not getting a guy that's had this for at least three, four years. You know, you're getting a guy just got the 10 and a half sacks, whatever it was. So I, I know, I know it sounds confusing, but like I said, different combinations, different things can happen. I think Bryce Huff could be a top quality 
for rotation and do a really good job, even if Redick is here or, be, or here. Really, the big question is Josh Sweat going forward, what they want to do with him. Do they want a comp pick or do they want to just keep him in the building for the year, let him play out his contract and, you know, have a nice rotation with his defensive line. So um, very pumped about it, very excited, and uh, the rumors keep flying through. So um, I'm sorry if I made anybody confused. I know it can kind of get a little confusing. Uh, so we'll see what happens. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more Eagles news every single day. Make sure you like the video as well. It does help the channel a lot. See you guys in the next one. Shake some up, follow us. Peace out, guys. Peace.